what's going on YouTube and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to create your Minecraft server so in this video you'll be able to create a Minecraft server that all your friends can play on and it'll be the latest version of Minecraft so that is a plus and it's probably the easiest way ever to create a Minecraft server and to also manage it so it's all inside of one program that will basically just create your server for you and inside that program you can just control all the players on your server install anything that you want and stuff like that if you're new to creating the Minecraft server stuff then I'll just guide you throughout the way so the first thing that you want to do is you want to create a new folder for the server so I'm just gonna call mine a Minecraft server and there we go so we have this folder now the next thing that you want to do is you want to go in the description and you want to click on the link to whatever Minecraft version you want your server to be so I'm gonna go with 1.8.6 that is the newest version currently but of course if you're watching this video in the future then it might be different but I'll make sure to update the links in the description so just download whatever version that you want and drop that dot jar inside of your new Minecraft server folder so once you have that in there, you can just leave the name. It doesn't really matter unless you really want to change that. The next thing that you want to do is you want to find the link that says Bucket GUI. So that'll be the program that I was talking about, and it'll basically just let us control everything and make the server. So that is on this page right here. So just make sure you click download and then download again. And also another thing that you want to make sure is that you have either Java 7 or Java 8, but I recommend getting the newest version if you don't want any problems. So if you don't want any problems, just make sure you have Java updated on your computer. Besides that, we're going to go ahead and drag this bucket GUI.exe into our new Minecraft server folder. So there we go. Now we have the spigot.jar and the bucket GUI, which is the program, and then this is the .jar version that will, you know, just, yeah, okay. So now... The next thing that you want to do is you want to double click on the bucket GUI thing, the application, and that will open it up. So here it already created our plugins folder. If you don't know what a plugin is, if you're new to the whole Minecraft server creating thing, then a plugin is just basically an add-on. So if you've seen like Spleef minigames, all these minigames and all these plugins that you can add to your server and I'll be showing you how to install one in a little bit. So like I said, we have this program here and it's super easy. If we scroll through, we can see the players that are on our server, the super start, which is where we create our server, and then a bunch of other stuff that I'll go over in a minute. But on the super start folder, you're gonna wanna make sure that you mark your server type as spigot because bucket is outdated unless you want vanilla. We're gonna mark ours as spigot. Now here is something that you'll have to know about your computer. So you're gonna have to mark the Java version that you have either Java 6, Java 7, or Java 8. Most of you guys are probably on 8 now. And then you're gonna have to find out whether your computer is a 32-bit or a 64-bit operating system. And the way to check, actually, if you don't even know what version of Java you have, you can go to your control panel, uninstall programs, and then you can look for Java. So hold on as it loads. And then here we go, I have all Java 8. Even in the parentheses, it says 64-bit. So that's how you know you have 64-bit but if it says 32-bit, then you have 32-bit. So there's that, I have Java 8 and 64-bit. And then you can leave the minimum RAM and maximum RAM as it is. You can mess with it if you really want to, but I just leave it as that. And then the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna click on this dot, 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 and now we can just select the dot jar file that we downloaded in the description that is in our Minecraft server folder. So if we select it and we click open, then there we go. We are uh, pretty much done. So we can go ahead and launch the server now. So it might pop up as an error in this, but uh, you can just ignore this one. It's not serious or anything like that, but it'll, it'll keep loading. And then there we go. So it's creating everything, and, and all these warnings are normal when you first start your server. And uh, just keep in mind, this is the place where you look for errors at in the future when you're running your server. And then the next thing that we have to do is we have to agree to the EULA, because that's what it says here. So we're gonna follow its instructions. Just right click on the EULA, hit edit, and now we're gonna have to change this false to true. Just something that Minecraft wants us to do. And then click on file save and exit out of that. Now we can go ahead and go back to our bucket GUI and start it up again. And there we go. It just creates a bunch of stuff that we're gonna need for our Minecraft server. And once it does that, that's how you know you basically got your server and then there we go we finally reached done and yeah that's pretty much it our server is now running so if we go to minecraft we can actually test that it's running if we go to multiplayer direct connect and then type in local host with no spaces and then you can click join server and once we join we're basically in our own minecraft server so there we go 
we are in our Minecraft server. Pretty sick. This is awesome. And now we can actually find out how to invite our friends next. Now while in our Minecraft server, if we go to the bucket GUI, here's where we can manage everything. So you can see our player's name. If we go to players, then you can see where they're from, if they're whitelisted or op. If they're an op, then the player is basically in control of the server. They can do in any command, they can control everything. That's that, if you wanna op them, you can just right click, kick ban, do all this stuff. That's just how you manage that, which is pretty cool. You can install plugins here, you can search for anything, but these are all bucket plugins, so I'm actually going to show you how to download spigot ones. And yeah, that's pretty much just everything. And if you want to stop your server, just click on stop. And then you have restart and stuff like that. If you want to type in any command from the console, so let's say we want the console to say something to our players. So you can just check this and then say what we want to say. So I'm just going to type in pizza. And then the server will say pizza in the thing and then if you want to do any commands that the console can do then you can just type that in here but if we click on stop and then our server will stop so now I'm going to show you guys how to get your friends connected to your Minecraft server a really cool thing about this program is that it can also port forward for you now it's experimental so it might not work for everyone and if this doesn't work then you're gonna want to YouTube how to port forward and once you basically port forwarded then your friends can join if we click on this then what you want to do is you want to type in anything for the port name Minecraft Minecraft server and the next thing that you want to do is you want to hit Windows key R or you just want to basically open up the run thing and then from there you want to type in cmd now type in ip config and hit enter so now it's going to give us our ip4 address that you want to type into your ip it will already like know your ip address so that's the cool part but that's just in case and then your port is 25565 make sure you have that and then you're going to want to add tcp and then once you've added the tcp you're going to want to select a udp and add that so you should have two ports here now this doesn't work for me because for some reason my router is like the dumbest router in the history of history because i've tried everything and it's just a new router that i don't really know how to mess with but my old router did port forward and port forwarding is actually pretty easy so this method should work for you if it doesn't just youtube how to port forward and then there we go. So once you port forwarded, you can go to ipchicken.com and here is the IP address that you want to give your friends. So you either give this, like just this by itself, or if that doesn't work for your friends, try this. So either that or colon 25565 is what you want to add to the end. So there's an example of someone's IP address on the screen. So either of those should work if you port forwarded correctly. So that is that and um, that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to take a step further from here and install plugins, there's a video link in the description showing you how to easily install plugins. As a Minecraft server owner, you also want to set up permissions. Now permissions is something that you should give your players who you want to have access to certain commands. So if you want your really good staff members to have access to the highest commands from a plugin, then you're going to want to set up permissions, which will also be in the description. And yeah, that's just basically where you want to take it from there if you're new to creating Minecraft servers. And that's it for this video. So if this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like because it really helps me out. That lets me know that this helped you. And besides that, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed already, I do tons of plugins and tutorials and I just go over these really cool plugins that every server owner should have. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.